now is a great time to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to join our conversation. Our top talker is a multi-award winning journalist. As a consumer investigative reporter for our CBS station in San Francisco, KPIX, her work has prompted FDA recalls, federal investigations, and laws to protect consumers. Please give a warm hello to Julie Watt. Welcome, Julie. Welcome down south to Southern Cal. What's everyone talking about? Well, everyone is talking about car seat safety. So, you know, we this started off with a conversation about green car seats, right? Mm -hmm. Used by, very popular with Jessica Alba, Jessica Simpson, mm -hmm. lots of celebrities, the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. But it's evolved into something much larger. The concern really impacts really all car seats, including the ones that you may be using at home. So they're not only required by law in all 50 states, we know that, and we know that car seats are really critical to keep our kids safe mm -hmm. in a car. Mm -hmm. But the question is, are the chemical flame retardants used inside those car seats actually harmful to children? Now we conducted a six month KPIX investigation and what we mm -hmm. found was absolutely shocking. So concerning chemical flame retardants were found in 75% of the yeah. car seats tested, including green car seats that claim to, quote, be free of concerning chemicals. Yeah. Now, as part of this investigation, we actually used my daughter. And I have to tell you, as a mom, I was horrified to find out that both she and her car seat tested positive for the same cancer-causing chemical that was removed from children's wow. pajamas back in the 70s due to health oh concerns. Wow. wow. Listen to this, guys. Her levels went from 60 parts per billion in her body while she was using the car seat to nine parts per billion 24 hours after her last exposure oh, no, to her car no. seat. Okay, so, so it went away right? right away, though, is what you're saying. Right, so the half-life of this particular chemical was eight hours, so that was the actual expected rate. So fire scientists say uh, real-world car fire flames are too large for these to be effective. Manufacturers say they have to use them due to federal regulations. Regulators say that they don't have any evidence they provide a safety benefit in car seats. My question for you ladies is, do you think parents should have the option to buy a car seat without flame retardants, or is the possible benefit worth the risk? No so. way. Like you said, in the real world, if the car's bursting into flames, this is, they're testing a one and a half inch flame to keep it from spreading. They're not testing right. a car on fire. The company that is in this study that you're talking about, I was using it because it was supposed to be better, but I know even they, I think, admitted that it was just the fabrics, that the foam has to be treated based mm -hmm. on our guidelines. In Europe, they do also use chemicals, but they, it's, they're supposed to be better. So it's not legal to use those car seats here, but I may order one. I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying anybody should order one or that it'll fit properly, but even, and I'm sorry to go on about this, but I even went into a store that had a comforter that goes in a crib that's a European store, and they said they could not legally sell me that comforter because it didn't have enough chemicals on it to protect from fire in the bed. There are a lot of products like that, and I will tell you, the American Academy of Pediatrics is calling on the CPSC to outlaw these chemicals in children's products, but car seats are regulated by NHTSA, not CPSC. So yeah. we are hopeful legislation was introduced this week that may exempt these chemicals. We're hopeful um, that lawmakers are listening, and there will be a hearing to talk about our findings. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It's well, your terrifying. Report, your reporting will help get things resolved and study, hopefully. Yeah. KPIX is Julie Watts, everybody. For more information about the investigation, go to thetalk.com. We'll be right back.